The first feelings that come to mind when I look at my upper deck card, it's just like, what? <laughs> That's me? I'm on a card? I grew up in a baseball household. On the weekends, if we were good all week, and if we had a good attitude in our little league games, my parents would take us to the trading card shops and we would go get baseball cards. And it would be so fun, the surprise and delight of getting an upper deck pack and opening it and seeing who you get. It was just such a joy to me. And so full circle to have my own trading card um, with such an amazing company, it brings tears to my eyes. It's a big deal for me to be here and to be aligned with Upper Deck and to see the craftsmanship of each piece, each poster, each you know canvas. The most meaningful thing to me um, is in all the duo posters with Misty and I. That girl changed my life. Um, you know, she was my childhood idol in the sport growing up. Got her autograph when I was 14, she was 15. Um, I got a chance to play with her for over 10 years and I went from this young girl to a, a woman with Misty and we kicked butt together. So to see the pieces we're on together is very meaningful to me because we are a dynamic duo and we did kick butt and we were dominant and we were dominant together. My gold medal from London is my most prized sports possession because Misty and I won that third gold medal in a row, never been done before. But also, I did it as a mommy. My boys were two and three, and my baby girl was actually in my tummy. I was pregnant in London. That journey to that gold medal was so powerful because my family and I were so connected. Like we traveled the world as a traveling circus pursuing these dreams, and my husband was pursuing the same dream. And so to get to London with Misty by my side, knowing she was gonna retire, to get the fairy tale ending with Misty, and then just for it to, to have done it with my family and to be able to pull my boys you know, from the stands on the sand with me and to hug my husband. The London gold medal is my favorite. My father is my favorite athlete of all time. He played minor league ball with the A's, handlebar mustache 6'8", like a beast, outside of my family and outside of you know, the Bay Area teams. I gotta say Michael Jordan. He's just my favorite. Me, he just becomes more and more my favorite as I feel like I have a little bit more understanding of who he is and what he went through. The current athletes that impress me are. Steph Curry, I feel like he's the old guard of the new guard. I love his creativity, I love his consistency. Mount Rushmore of Olympic athletes, which is really hard. We have a big mountain, we're gonna go broader than the actual Mount Rushmore. So you gotta go Jesse Owens, incredible. Gotta go Muhammad Ali, incredible. You gotta go Simone Biles, incredible. Michael Phelps, incredible. Karch Karai, incredible. And Misty and I. I have to put us in there. And each of those athletes represents something different to me. For Misty and I, we were the best and we won three gold medals for our country when only you know one gold medal was given out. Misty and I have the one from each of the ones that we played in. And I, I love that. It's just incredible to be part of the upper deck team. You know, I mean, we have a the wall over here that says the world's greatest memorabilia and you have the world's greatest athletes, like part of this roster. So for me to be part of this, it's, I mean, I don't know what better words to say than humbling, and it's an honor. Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky. I'm proud, I deserve to be here, and so I wanna, I wanna own it that I'm, I'm on the team and I, I belong here. At the same time, it's very humbling. The legacy I want to be that of a kind human who kicked ass and won a lot. I would like to inspire the next generation of athletes to really just let it rip. Like, I feel like the athletes today, they're so excellent, they're so trained, they're so focused and yet there's so much pressure. And I feel like the joy and the playfulness of being an athlete has kind of been lost. And so what I want to encourage these, the next generation of athletes to do is to be playfully excellent, to be joyfully dominant, like to have fun in the process. You can't fast forward through the journey because the journey makes you excellent. Have fun as I go, because otherwise what's the point?